Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below. Today, I'm going to be talking about army costs and the difference between your raid army versus your war army. Now, today I'm on my Town Hall 12 and just showing you guys my base. Got a couple upgrades going, got a wizard tower and my fifth Tesla going to level 9. And thank you Lombi for the war wrecker and the free spell. Now we're currently in war and I'm about to do a war tag very soon. But first I wanted to show you just the differences between your raid and versus your war army and dependence on what you want to do with them. Now as you can see here we've got all my different types of armies that I use. My raid army is a little bit different to what everyone does. I uh, have a bit of a mix of bowlers and miners. My war army is pretty much my bowlers and witches with a couple giants and my air army is the newly upgraded electro dragons and balloons so as you can see there the differences between the dark elixir used and the elixir uh, for my war army pretty expensive 5200 elixir versus my electro army which is literally zero <laughs> so again it depends on what you want to do if when you're farming so if you're farming and you want to upgrade your heroes use the electro dragon army you can use your air army which uses zero amount of dark leaks are possible so you're pretty much getting all profit and if you want to upgrade an electric troop you can use more dark elixir so you can save on that elixir so you can get a little bit more profit and get that troop upgraded a little bit quicker or if you want a well-balanced army like I do for my raid one, which is a mix of dark and elixir, which you can pretty much get, you know, a little bit better around it. And when you find a raid, you can get a little bit better uh, resources for that. Now I just want to show you a couple raids here. I think I may have posted this one the other day. This is just my electro army. So here I was been trying to save up a bit of dark elixir as I'm trying to max my queen. Trying to get it to level 60, which is taking a while, as I think from 56 to 57 is 220,000. So, yeah, I've had a bit of fun with my Electro Dragons at the moment with my rating. And I'm coming out with pretty good results. But again, if I was looking for more Elixir, I really need at least 520,000 just to make a bit of profit. Plus your bonus if you hit over the 70% overall damage in a raid. And as you can see here, a free star coming up. Pretty happy with this attack. Base wasn't the strongest. But again, a bit of fun. If you guys are using Electro Dragons, please write that down in the comments below. How, how are you finding them? How do you attack with them? Do you do what I just did here and just literally spam them in the one spot? with my Grand Warden and have them split either side. <laughs> Still getting used to this army, but again, it's a bit of fun. I'm finding some pretty good bases with pretty good loot. And that's what this game's all about. When it comes to raiding, you have a bit of fun. War's a little bit more serious, but at the same time, I keep playing all the time because I'm enjoying it so much. And again, what I said before, pretty much that I do need 500,000 Elixir just to get back into the zero so I can make some profit. It's going to be different for you guys if you don't have Max Electro or you're not using the Electro Dragons if you're using more Lava Loon. Again, it just depends on what level troops you currently have. The more you upgrade your troops, the more expensive they're going to cost. So when it comes to wanting to upgrade, please choose carefully. If you don't always have to max every single troop first, up to about maybe Town Hall 9, that's probably essential when you get to maybe Town Hall 10, 11, 12. When war weight starts to come in, I always like to max the troops I'm going to use pretty much most of the time when it comes to either my war or my raiding army or farming army. Um, I find that to be a little bit more crucial just at that stage. And then once you've maxed everything, then you can start continuing on doing other types of troops that you normally like use and then you can actually start practicing with them but again that's my opinion 
you guys are happy to do whatever you want. Again, as I said, Clash of Clans enables you to do that, even though you might have to stay at your town hall for now until you've upgraded everything. I actually think that's a pretty good rule as engineer bases were pretty much hurting war. And I'm not going to say too much because my AJ account can be considered engineered. Now here I just wanted to show you my war attacks from the previous war. And hopefully I can help you out this. When it comes to a queen walk, I what you need to do is make sure that you drop your, either your siege machine or the rest of your troops with your queen walk before two minutes are left. If you don't do this, which I'm going to show you, it's going to cost you the extra star, whether it's a two star or that three star, which is what everyone wants to get in war. As you can see, I started my coin walk from the side, which I thought if I can get rid of the expos and a couple uh, cannons and archer towers, I'm going to get myself in a good spot. And as you can see here, two minutes are done, two minutes to go left, sorry. I still haven't dropped anything. I've just got my queen, taken out the enemy queen, got the eagle gone, going to get the expo out of the way. And as you can see, I've done a pretty good cleanup, but it has taken a minute 13. Which again, as I said, you need to make sure you've got at least two minutes to get your full army in to get an attack. Some bases can be free start if they're all together but generally in war because it's a bit harder to you know get that free start you really need to give you as much time as possible and you'll see here in the next minute what will happen pretty happy with the attack overall it was what i planned to do or what i tried to get out tried to get the queen War to get one side probably should drop some giants just up to that top left there just to get rid of that arch tower get some wizards just to get rid of it and it may have helped me towards the end. A little bit of lag here, but my bowlers are still going strong. Got my healers keeping everything nice and healthy. Grand Warden's still up. I've already hit its warden, but things are still going like pretty good here. You can see you can see 40 seconds left. I've literally only done 60%, which and I've got really no rage spells left just to speed things up which has been unfortunate but it turned out to be pretty decent raid as i said three seconds left still got pretty much all my troops available lots of bowlers few wizards and my peck is still going strong which is good drop the jump spell just so i can get in here just to clean up some of these troops <coughs> sorry some of these defenses bowlers are still going really good here hammering away had a couple extra war breakers, which I didn't really need in this raid. Thought I'd just drop them out of the way just to create a bit of a distraction to the remaining defenses. And as you can see here, time's run up, still got a few defenses left. And if I had that extra 13 seconds, it would have been a free star. But that's okay, it's war. You always get an extra opportunity, and this is what happened here. We were tied with about a minute to go we're on the same score we're just a little bit up percentage we only got the one star on this one it was up to me to at least get this second star for us to get the victory i saw the replay of lombi and he told me exactly what he did what he did wrong what i can try to do just to get that second star and pretty much follow the same plan did the queen walk up the top and the air defense is going to start hurting my healers. And you probably might have noticed I take five healers for my queen walk at Town Hall 12. Compared to four on my Town Hall 11. I like that extra healer. Just in case for emergencies like this. And it keeps my queen up nice and strong. Managed to draw out the CC with a couple of giants. A couple of whiz just to get rid of those storages. Because those storages are so tanky and take up so much space it takes a while for them to be taken out which is pretty time consuming got my siege machine in Com probably should have dropped the rest of my troops here but unfortunately i didn't and as you can see all these teslas is going to take out my siege machine 
And yeah, as you can see here, I've just dropped my bowlers and witches. I probably should have dropped at least a good 10 seconds earlier. Drop the freeze on the town hall because it is a Giga Tesla. Those Giga Teslas are not to be messed with. They are crazy. Such a good introdu introduction to the game. I find them very strong, pretty awesome, and they pretty much wipe out your troops if you don't drop a freeze or got your Gwen Warden ability on early. Which is good, I got the Town Hall, got the 2 star into the death zone or kill zone right here because all the defences were hammering on my, on my bowlers and my wizards and they did not last long but again I was only aiming for a 2 star here, wasn't aiming for a 3 star. Of course it would have been good to get a 3 star but just wanted to get that Town Hall out of the way and I knew if I did that I'd still be able to get at least 50% on this base as there are a lot of a lot of stuff around the outside which can help you get that extra percentage points and the raid is almost done here and again guys thank you for watching if you like my videos please subscribe to the channel and again guys happy clashing